Now I'd like to introduce a member of the class of 2021, the president of student government for the past academic year, Anaga Kakeri. Anaga, it's been a real pleasure working with you this year. You've had a presidency unlike any other UT, except perhaps mine. While we've had some good Zoom meetings together, one of my favorite memories was seeing you and other student leaders here at the Orange and White game on this field back in April. It was a great reminder of how much I appreciate and enjoy our student leaders, especially when we get to spend time together in person. Graduates, please welcome your student government president, Anaga Kakeri. Thank you, President Hartzell, for that introduction. 437 days ago, the winds of a changing world scattered us all over the state, the country, and the world. But today, we are back together again, and seeing so many unmuted, in-person faces brings me joy. To those faces, <laughs> to those faces half covered in front of me, and to the faces separated by a screen hundreds of miles away, thank you. Thank you for your support for us graduates during this milestone of our lives. Today is the first ever socially distanced in-person graduation. But, cla <laughs> but <laughs> class of 2021, are we not the class of many firsts? The first class to start during a hurricane, the first class to endure through <laughs> a once in a lifetime winter storm, and the first class to finish a whole year during the COVID-19 pandemic. And among us are other living, walking first, first-generation college students, first-generation immigrants. Or the first generation to fake technical difficulties on Zoom to get out of class. Throughout my four years, my family has supported me encouraged me, and emboldened me. Thank you to my family. I love y'all. And today, I'm going to share three lessons from my family that have guided me through life. My family taught me what was hard to bear is sweet to remember. When I first came to the 40 Acres, I was unsure of my identity. Growing up, people told me I wasn't American enough, Texan enough, or Indian enough. I'll never forget one moment. In middle school, my parents asked me if the bullying at school had stopped. I looked them in the eye and said, I'm doing great, I'm basically white now. Pain filled my parents' eyes as they saw their daughter's identity slip away. Many years later, during my time at UT, I embarked on a journey to find out who I am. Today, after hills and valleys, arm in arm with faithful friends who forever changed my life, I know who I am. We each took our own journeys at UT. We each learned great lessons along the way and gained friends. We are a class of unparalleled problems. We all overcame mountains in these last four years. And while the journey was hard, the memories are sweet. My family taught me we can't change the direction of the wind but we can adjust the sails. Well, my parents could control that I grew up in this country. They could not control the racism that we endured. But they ensured that we always knew that ultimately we controlled our own destinies. I cannot change how people choose to define me. I cannot stop people from trying to tell me who I am, but I can bribe a pen and write my own story. Here at UT, I grabbed a pen and wrote who I am. Here at UT, I learned to adjust, to persevere, and to say, I am proudly an American, I am proudly a Texan, 
and I am proudly the first Indian woman student body president at the University of Texas at Austin. We are a class of unparalleled perseverance. We adjusted to college life in our childhood bed, to Zoom University, and to social distancing. The wind blows out of our control, and the powerful play goes on, but we may contribute a verse. Pen in hand, what will your verse be? My family taught me, yesterday is but a dream, tomorrow but a vision. My grandparents and parents came to this country with the dream that one day I could stand here before you. Over these last four years, so many of our dreams have come true. Yet, there are still so many dreams waiting to be realized. We are a class of unparalleled potential. Yesterday is a great memory. Tomorrow is a great opportunity. As we leave yesterday and enter tomorrow, I would like to read you a quote from my religious text, the Bhagavad Gita, which I feel applies greatly to our time ending here at UT. What you've taken has been from here. What you gave has been given here. What belongs to you today belonged to someone yesterday and will be someone else's tomorrow. Change is the law of the universe. Class of 2021, we have been a part of history. We are currently making history and we will continue to be makers of history. Every day in college, my parents have sent me a motivational text. So I will leave you with what they sent me this morning, a quote by former First Lady Michelle Obama. Your, your story is what you have, what you will always have. It is something to own. Our stories have just begun. So class of 2021, grab your pen and write your story. Thank you so much for everything, UT, and congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it! Hook up!